Hi everyone, Andrew Carruthers here for Sam Via. We're at my salon Lunatic Fringe in Sugar House, Utah. Today we're gonna to work on a technique called the Sleeker Iron Wave. This is something that I've been working a lot with with my clients lately and they're loving it. So I'm gonna show you how to do it in the salon on your guests and also give you a few tips on how to work with it so that you can teach your guests how to do it. First things first, we gotta section the hair, right? Sectioning is really, really key. This is something I think we forget to talk to our guests about a lot of times because they come in and of course they say that they didn't get the same results that we got. Well, we're taking the time to distribute the hair into smaller sections and a lot of times they're not. They're just grabbing big chunks of hair and trying to go for it. So make sure you take the time to teach your guests how to create smaller panels to work within. So we're just gonna work this front corner. You can see I've created a panel here that's leaving me just this piece here above the ear. I'm gonna pre-treat the hair with Iron Silk. Redken's Iron Silk is a great product for this because of the heat protection. And it does have a decent hold to it. It's not a super sticky hold, it's nice and light. So I'm gonna work that through the hair first. Spray on top and on bottom. And work through with my hands. The sleeker is really nice because we have a lot of different settings on there. If your client has delicately color treated hair, go ahead and put it on the color treated setting. Michelle's got this beautiful natural head of black hair, so I can actually use the high heat on her. And she's got great healthy hair. It's very thick, so it can be very resistant. So I am using high heat. On some of my clients that have even finer hair, low is plenty. We don't need to overcook the hair. So I'm gonna take about an inch thick vertical section here right along the hairline. I'm gonna place the iron in over top of the hair and turn the iron without pressing down. If I put the iron into the hair and press down, what's gonna happen is I'm gonna create a crease in the hair and I don't want, to, want a crease, of course. So come over from the top down. I turn the iron without closing. I start to move and then I close and that way I'm getting some good compression. I'll hurry through those ends because I don't want as much curl through the ends. I want the curl more in the mid strand of the hair. And I'm gonna let that cool in more of a coil. If this falls down and it goes straight while it's still hot, I'm gonna lose my wave. So make sure you share that with your guests too because that's a really important difference between something that's gonna stay in the hair and something that's just gonna fall out throughout the night. Again, another one inch vertical section. Bring it straight out here to the side, come over top, turn, start to move, and then compress. I'm gonna go slower through this mid strand and then speed up down through the ends. Again, because I want that heat really focused on the mid strand and then not as much curl in the ends. Let that cool. One more time, one inch vertical section. Iron comes in. This is something that at home might be easier for them to come from the, from the underside. And I'll show them actually how to do that. I'll hold out a section of my hair, put the iron under, and then I'm gonna turn the iron away from my face, then start to compress and out and down through the ends. If you teach your clients that motion, it will take them a minute to get used to, but I promise you, I have lots and lots of my guests that are doing this on a regular basis on their hair. And I said, after you get used to it, it's a really easy technique for texture at home. Iron comes in over top, turn, start my compression, slower through that mid strand where I need more heat. And then we're gonna come out through the ends a little quicker, coil that up. Let's drop down this top. Now this first section that's gonna be laying right against the face is a really important one. Where that first curl hits can really kind of make or break whether it's very flattering on their cheekbones, flattering to their jawline. Wherever that first curl hits will become a focal point. So if I want that first curl to hit right around her cheekbone, I'm gonna to have to start pretty high up. If I wanted to start a little lower, be more of a jawline, I'll drag out farther and start lower in the hair. I want this to stay a little higher, so I'm gonna come up pretty close, get my turn in there, I'm gonna compress a little quicker, get plenty of heat on there, and then quick through the ends. 
coil that up, let it cool. Now just continue working through in those same sections. Nice and slow through the mids, quicker through the ends. Coil it up. I just did a photo shoot with one of my clients and she's rebuilding her modeling portfolio. And this technique we used in, it's kind of a boho chic setting. We had done a hat in the picture and these waves looked so good coming out from underneath that hat. It's that hat that's really popular right now, that beautiful black floppy kind of French style look. Okay, so as those are cooling, really setting in so that they don't drop out. Now, some of my clients like it kind of more coiled up, so what you can do is just use a little bit of product and just kind of lightly shake it out and leave more of that coiled up look. And if they like that, great. What I like to do is come in and just use my fingers to start pulling those waves apart and get a looser texture to them. I don't like them to look too overly done. So by pulling those apart, we get more of a wavy texture, very lived in, very loose. Michelle's really hard to make look great, so this is amazing what it's doing for her. Yeah, right. And she's got great hair for this. So this is the sleeker iron wave. The key points I really want you to remember when you're trying this at home is make sure you get lots of heat and compression through the mid strand to get that bounce and then rush through those ends so you don't get too much of a curly cue on the ends. And really just think about where you wanna place those waves in the hair. I think you're really gonna enjoy this. I know my guests do. Thanks for watching.